Hi, my name is Dale Clark and I head up the product team for CA Technology Service Management Solution. This video is part 5 of a series of brief demonstrations to highlight some of the capabilities provided by the solution. In this installment, Chris Polo will walk you through some elements of the solution's reporting and dashboarding capabilities provided by the included CA Business Intelligence component based on Business Objects technology and then we'll show additional capabilities provided by the add-on product, Extraction for Service Management. Let's take a quick look at the library. We have ITO reports out of the box. Let's look at Business Impact. Here we can see tickets per month impacting the enterprise based on open date or year, and we can choose to filter. And let's just say an unauthorized CI update was the cause. Now we can easily see that we have incidents impacting certain enterprise applications during that month. We can also break it down by weekday. We can also look at incident closure report. We can see here the closure category versus the initial category. Tickets that were opened via the command line prompt kept the same category at open when it was initially created to when it was closed. Tickets created via the web showed that there was a great difference between the initial category and the closure category. This shows that there's something wrong with the process. Let's take another look at violation cost per service. We can also break that down into look into business service, and look at tick exchange, just in terms of incidents or requests. Let's look at our other reporting tool, extraction. Here's a sample of the out of the, the library of different types of report and extraction. Here we can see an incident trend for the past six months, and this is shown under the iPad directory. So the incident trend maps to us the trend line of the number of incidents, right? By the, the trend line, we also see the number of related configuration items, the related change orders, related problems, SLE breaches, and if there's a major incident. Let's take a look how quickly, how easy it is to drill down into these type of reports. So if we want to quickly see or filter on any of the axes or component of the report, then we can easily filter on that common component. So now let's take a look at October. And now we see that there's a major incident in October. We can actually view that record and then drill down. Major is in FDF. We could also change the type of report quite easily if we also want to look at different types of dashboards that provide very interactive types of capabilities. Let's move directly into here and let's start to drill down who's managing our priority one tickets. Again, we can directly view into the reports. We provide reports for service desk, 12 month report trends, we can show group transfer count, forecasted SLA breaches, scoreboard. and here's an example of a scoreboard. Reports that help the service desk understand if it's reaching its goals are located under the service desk admin. So here we can see the different knowledge documents in the past 12 months, any root cause survey data in the past 12 months. Here's an example of, of what uh, we can do with extraction. We can have basic reports, so changes incident aging resolution, we can have incident trends. So here we're graphing the number of incidents related to problems, incidents and breached SLA, major incident. We can show service desk 
delivery report, a service delivery report. These reports are document types and they're very specific. They provide a lot of different value in the sense that they will show trend lines and also map the trend for all types of records in your organization. But we can do service outage in hours. You can look at service impact of the incidents, incident priorities in the last 12 months. So there's trends. Here we see this is mapped on the number of incidents is mapped on the first y axis and the actual number of major incidents is mapped on the second y axis. We could change again how you want this step. How you want to view it. We have impact reports. Tickets impacting your customer SLAs. Right. So SLA violation, yes. The number of service down, caused by change, expected availability, service report code, incident summary, down hours, and cover code. In this We'll now create a multi-dimensional report. Let's create our own dashboard. In this view, I can easily change file, new. I can change my dashboard. Let's look at time components. We can do a col, a bar, chat. All we have to do is a couple of things. Let's look at the components. In this example, we're going to add the outage. We add a series. For incidents, open date this month, and we'll change the actual outage in hours. Add another series. Total activity time in hours. Output. Get back in here. We want it to be some. So there we have it. We're mapping outage by efforts in minutes. Now let's look at a different graph. Where we're going to do a bubble graph. On the x-axis we'll do the incident count. On the y-axis we'll do outage time in hours. And the radius will be the average ticket handling time. So the ticket handling time from open to close. Let's look at affected service. Let's drag and drop that here. Open date this month, we're looking at incidents, we can change incidents to problem changes, we can go to service catalog, put a request, CMDB, configuration items. We're going to keep it to incidents. But we can show the different data sources there. We've got our period down here. Let's look at the components. We need to add in a series of let's do incident count. We want to also do add in a series. And we want to here, we want to do the outage duration in hours. And we want the sum of that and a series. We want the average total activity time in hours. output. It's a bubble. On the x-axis, we're going to do on the 
bubble. We're going to chat and say count. We're going to do the else. We're going to do transmit. Actual total activity time 40 minutes, and there was an outage for six hours. But there's only one ticket related to that. And we can actually filter on that. So now we're filtering above here. We see that the one ticket and view that record. And flow response on the customer interaction service. So the graphs will interact with each other. We'll go back here. And we can look at there's total activity time for to exchange. And again that component and we'll see the, the title above changes and we can actually go and view those records. We hope that you found this demonstration to be helpful. Please check out the other videos in this series for more information about CA Technologies Service Management Solutions.